Imagine a motor vehicle that needs not one drop of fuel. Sounds pretty far-fetched, doesn't it? Well, major manufacturers like Mitsubishi, Nissan, Holden and Toyota are investing in hybrid and full electric vehicles, and they're available right now. Now, you could think they've only been available for a few years. Well, since 1973, the Australian Electric Vehicle Association have been tinkering and converting petrol cars into full electric vehicles. Chris, how are you, mate? I'm well. Now, you're one of the leaders of the Australian Electric Vehicle Association that tinkers and transforms petrol cars into electric cars. Now, we've come here today and I've seen some amazing transformations. Tell us a little bit more about the club. OK, so the AEVA was set up in 1973 in response to the fuel shocks that were happening. There was a push to develop electric vehicle technology because that, uh, that didn't rely on importing foreign oil. And so ever since 1973, we've been committed to promoting and encouraging electric vehicles for private and public use. Now, Chris, thanks for having us down to your educational day. I've learned a lot from it. But what is the event all about? OK, so Electricana is the annual event that the Perth branch of the AEVA hosts. And it's really a public drive day. We invite the general public to come down to the RAC driving centre and get behind the wheel of an electric car and see what it's all about. Now, Chris, I've been very surprised today. I'm glad I came. I've seen an old Mustang converted to full electric. I've seen a BMW, an old BMW converted to full electric. Motorbikes, scooters, pedal bikes even converted to full electric vehicles. Why has the uptake in the general public been so slow? I think generally electric vehicles are a bit more expensive than a petrol powered equivalent vehicle. But what we would like to encourage people to think about is the ongoing running costs of an electric vehicle are significantly lower than that of a petrol vehicle. Now, not only are you a member of the association, you also are a tinkerer with the electric side of things yourself. This is, in fact, your invention, isn't it? That's right. This is my bike, uh, Voltron Evo. This is my 2014 electric superbike. I will be racing, uh, well, I'll be getting someone fast to race. <laughs> Not me. The rear end of the bike is from a Ducati Supersport 900. And the front end is from a GSX-R1000. The fairings are from a Kawasaki. But uh, there is nothing unique about all of those things. It's the motor inside it that's actually the real, real weapon here. OK, Chris, talk me through the weapon. OK, this motor is a 150 kilowatt peak AC synchronous motor. So that's about 210 horsepower. We've got 400 newton metres of torque available at any instant. What kind of charge would you need to invest into it and how long would that power last for? Uh, it would take about two hours to charge it fully and at race pace I'd probably finish it in about 15 minutes. Wow, wow. I wish you luck on this and I'd love to catch up with you after the race and just see how you went. Absolutely. Now if people want to get involved in your association, what do they do? I'd strongly recommend they get to aeva.asn.au and you can find out where your local branches are, you can arrange to get along to a meeting. We've also got a forum. Awesome. Well, good luck on your journey to find a better solution to the petrol cap. Thank you.